Now, I'm reliably told that when you pair of deadbeats were child prodigies, soccer's maximum wage was still £10 a week. But nowadays, Scotland's wonder band, Stephen Hendry, at 20, is on the verge of earning £1 million from prize money alone. He's already picked up £930,000. So can you lend us 50p, Bear? Well, for a new suit. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. I'll give you the name of my clothes a later. But seriously, doesn't all this wealth... Doesn't it dampen your enthusiasm? Doesn't it stop you being really keen and determined um, to win? No, no, really. I don't really see much of it. I mean, Ian Doyle takes care of a manager. Um, I just get on with a snooker, and but, he does a business. And you don't really play for the money, you play for the titles. That's right, yeah. And I, I still haven't achieved what I want to achieve, and that's be world champion. Well, the Master Cuman Steve Davis is devoted following are still bearing up. But I, re I realise, Ben, that the young girls watching us, most of them fancy me, of course, but one or two of them with bad, ropey eyesight might reckon <laughs> you a bit of a prospect. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I would hope so. But are you so obsessed with snooker that it rules out your private life? Um, more or less. I mean, I've, you've got to be, have a lot of tunnel vision, you know. If you want to be number one, you've got to sort of sacrifice a lot. I mean, it doesn't mean you don't have a private life, but you've got to sacrifice a lot to get there. Now, you're a Jam Tart supporter, and Hearts, of course, not playing today against the no. Premier Division leaders, Aberdeen. Do you often go to Tyne Castle? No, but two years ago, we should have won the league. I went there twice and they lost twice, so... I think Alan McDonald will like me to stay away. <laughs> Good thinking. But luck plays a tremendous amount in, in soccer, of course, but even more in snooker. Now, let's just watch this from last night's match play final with Jimmy White here. He's down on the shot. He's going to pop the blue here. Just watch this. Smashes it in. And look at the green. Just watch the green. It goes on and on. And inevitably, in it goes. Terrible luck there for Jimmy White. He loses the frame, goes 8-5 down. That's a real signal when that happens to you. Oh, obviously. I mean, he was 40, 50 points in front and looked like winning the frame. But luck does balance out in the end, doesn't it? Especially in a best of 35 frame match. Um, it's bound to even itself out after a while. Now, it's eight frames each. Um, it's the first to 18 wins. Come and give us a tip. You've played them both. You're well, the four more. I tipped Parrot yesterday, but after Jimmy finishing eight all from eight five down, I think he's. I, th I would fancy Jimmy now. He's on the way back. You mean? I would think so. Yeah. Well, the bookies make um, Parrot the six to five on favourite, and I reckon he's the smoothest thing to come out of Merseyside since Red Rum. And you can get eleven to ten against White. Now, many housewives reckon that Jimmy White, winsome lad, is the little boy lost. There's a feeling here that he's not going to lose this weekend, and that in fact is going to be a white Christmas. But Saint, I know you're going to go along with the band here. After all, they say you're earning almost as much as he does these days.